welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my house tour. You guys have waited so patiently for me to get everything put together. So this video is going to share in detail all of the contents of my living room, my kitchen, and my dining room, our guest bathroom, our little nook areas, all of that. So if you guys wanna see where I bought everything and how I put it together, let's get started. All right, the first room I want to show you guys is our dining room. It's not actually a room, it's more of just like a little nook off of our kitchen and off of our living room that fits our dining table perfectly and the little bar cart and everything. So I'm going to go in detail over everything, but here's kind of like an overview what it looks like. I'm standing kind of like in the hallway. You can see our curtains. I have them open right now, but they're blue and white striped indoor outdoor curtains so they're very like breezy and lightweight they're really pretty but I love this room the most because I can switch it up all the time so every few weeks I kind of get inspired and I change out a few different pieces and try new looks and I love to decorate the table okay so here you guys can see kind of like an overview of what the table looks like from above I have mentioned it before but Michael and I actually stained this table ourselves um, it was his parents and it was like a dark wood color and we sanded it and stained it like a whitewash gray color and then I painted the legs with chalk paint so I love the way it came out it's been great our chairs I actually purchased off of Joss and Maine they're really pretty they are like a cream color with a light wood and they're very like I don't know I think they're like European looking and now moving on to what I actually have on the table right now. Easter is coming up, so this is kind of like my springtime little tablescape here. We have some fresh hydrangeas there. I just got those at the grocery store. They're a beautiful light blue color. I love fresh flowers. So this is the vase that I have the flowers in. It's this beautiful light powder blue seahorse and seashell vase. It's really pretty. It's like a pitcher. I love to keep a few candles on the table. It just really is pretty when we're eating dinner and just at night. And of course, it makes the room smell good too. So the one on the left is from Bath and Body Works, but the holder is actually from Kohl's, I believe. It was a gift from a friend of mine. And the other two are both from Pier 1. The one with the shells on it, I actually got on clearance for like a dollar, so I bought a bunch of them. And the blue one is very pretty, very beachy. I love it. We don't have many Easter decorations just because, you know, we just moved here a few months ago, but I did pick up these little Easter egg ornaments from Pier 1. I think they're really pretty and, and they give this table a very pretty spring feel. I just have them sitting in one of my bowls. This is from Macy's and um, that little shell is actually just from like a little boutique and then I have it on this blue and white platter that I picked up from Home Goods, and the brand is Tommy Bahama. And just a little overview of our plate setup here. The chargers are silver from Bed Bath & Beyond. The little blue plates are actually plastic, and I just picked them up at Home Goods for like a few dollars. They're perfect for every day. They can go in the dishwasher, all that kind of stuff. And then this is um, one of the little salad plates from my plate set that I got at Macy's. And then the blue mason jars I actually picked up at Kroger, the grocery store. I think they're adorable. Again, I love that powder blue color right now. And the little napkins are up from Home Goods. They're just a blue and white seersucker. They're kind of wrinkled right now, but I really didn't want to iron my napkins. <laughs> but these are from Tommy Hilfiger. I got them at Home Goods. And then I do have a few little coasters throughout the house just to protect our tables and stuff. And they are from. Anthropology or home goods, they sell them both. Or both stores sell them. Okay, so I went ahead and closed our curtains so you guys could see how sheer they are. They're just literally just to give some color to the room. I love the blue and white stripe. I thought it was kind of different. Okay, and now moving over to the corner of this little nook, we have our bar cart. I actually picked this bar cart up from Target 
a long time ago, like a year and a half ago, and I kept it because I knew I wanted to use it one day, and I got it on sale, and I really like it. And I think they actually still bring it out from time to time. You can buy this exact one. But as you can tell, this has really come in handy. We have a lot of overflow of dishes and napkins and that kind of stuff. All right, so on top of the cart here, basically everything, it's either from Home Goods or Macy's. So my little bubbly vase is from Home Goods. I love that. And that little cute sign that says Beach House actually is from a little boutique and it's like handmade. I think it was really cute. This is not a beach house, but I bought this a long time ago. I just wanted to keep it and I think it's cute. And then I have some napkins there, which I think are going to be great for summer. They have like little coral on them. And then some of our dishes from Macy's and that turquoise and white plate is actually from Z Gallery. It was like $2 on clearance, so I picked it up. And then underneath there you can see we have some really pretty light mint aqua chargers. And then if you flip them over, they're like a pearlized color. So they're from Pier 1. They're beautiful. I'll pull them out so you guys can hit. So those are the chargers. I got these on clearance at Pier 1 for like a dollar. And I love them. They're going to be great for summertime. So we just have our plates, some extra chargers from Bed Bath & Beyond, some extra napkins from Home Goods, and more Home Goods dishes. And this is the bowl I have them in. How pretty are these bowls? Okay, so that is our little dining area. Now moving on towards the kitchen, we have this little wine rack here. This little area is totally not decorated, so uh, I didn't really want to show this because we don't even have wine glasses yet. Uh, we registered for them, so hopefully we'll get them at our shower, but yeah, this area is definitely not like looking really, really pretty yet, but at least it's brought a lot of color to the room. Up above, I do have this painting that I got from TJ Maxx a few years ago. It's gorgeous. I love the colors. I showed you guys the little tea set, which is from Home Goods. It's very coastal and pretty. Yes, those are peeps in the picture. I love peeps. I'm not eating them, but I can look at them. And then that candle is from Bath and Body Works. And I actually got the tulip plant from Kroger. It's adorable. It looks like a little watering can. So these curtains are kind of hard to get a good look at them on the camera, but they're just a gray and white striped, like a seersucker. They're from Ikea, and up top there, the rods are also from Ikea. They're like $5. So moving right along, I will bring you guys more so into the kitchen now. Here's just a little overview of everything. Okay, and I'm standing in the corner, so I'm going to go ahead and back up. Okay, so I moved over. Basically, I was just standing right at that white door. And you guys can see there's the wine rack, here's our table, the window. Um, that door right there just leads to like our little patio area. We haven't done anything with that yet, but now that it's getting warmer, we're going to get like a little table and chairs. So once we do that, I will do another video and show you guys kind of like our outside area. So before anyone asks, I do not know any of the paint colors for this entire place. This was just the way that it was painted when we came in here. Same thing with the counters and the appliances and stuff. This is just the way um, that it came. On top there, that vase is from Target and we just have our palms in there from Palm Sunday. And this white door is our pantry so all of our food is in there and it's just so packed. It's like the tiniest little pantry ever. Moving along to the cupboards. Okay, so in the corner we have our Keurig. We use that every morning for our coffee. In that little dish there, I have like my flat tummy tea and my tiny tea. I drink that a few times a week. And that little dish is from Anthropology, and I usually use it for like berries and stuff, but I thought it looked cute like that. I also have a bigger one too. They were on sale. And then I have this little mason jar thing that is actually like our measuring cup, so you can see the little lines. It splits up to different measurements. Moving right along, I had that little butter tray with a little bird on it. That's from Home Goods, and my um, little towel from Home Goods also. Lots of Home Goods treasures in this house. 
Moving up, you see our toaster and our KitchenAid uh, mixer. And my little blue spoon rest from World Market. That's from World Market too, just in case you were wondering, the little mason jar thing. So the salt and pepper shakers are from Cracker Barrel. They have some little cute treasures there. Okay, and then these three jars or canisters are also from Home Goods. In the big one, we keep our K cups for coffee. In the middle one, I have sugar, and then the bottom one, I have powdered creamer for coffee. Candle is from Bath and Body Works. I wanted to show you guys this paper towel holder up close. It's so pretty. It's like a gray marble. I picked that up from Joss and Maine. And I just love it. It really goes well with like the color of our countertops. Okay, so there is the kitchen. I love that I can look out into the whole house from here. It's very wide and open. I love an open floor plan. Okay, so that takes us into this little nook. And this is probably my least favorite area of the house. It's kind of just like a random catch-all pile mess all the time. So here you guys can get kind of like a better idea. Just over in the corner here. I'm pretty sure this was made to be like a bar or made to be like a little office nook. But since we use our second bedroom as an office, this really wasn't necessary for us and we didn't exactly know what to do. So it's just become a place for us to keep like all of our paperwork. So we have this lamp that's actually from Kirkland's. It's really pretty. It gives off a really pretty warm light. And then both of the little artwork pieces are actually from Kohl's. And down below, that mail holder is from Home Goods. Calendar. To the right of this little area is our bedroom. There's the door. I'm going to do our bedroom tour and the bathroom and the closet and everything in a separate video very soon. Um, that'll be the next house video I do. But over here, we do have these little canvases. I got these years ago. I used to use them as decor in my bedroom, and I thought they looked really cute right there. So the first door is our bedroom, that second door is just our coat closet, the third door um, is our laundry room and goes to our garage and stuff, so nothing really interesting there. But these three little shadow boxes are adorable. I picked these up a long time ago also. For a few years I just like collected random things that I thought I would like in my house. And I got these like two Black Fridays ago, maybe, yeah, two Black Fridays ago, two years ago. And they're just from Kohl's, little white shadow boxes with shells in them. And then that leads to our bathroom here. I will show you guys that next. And then there is the door to my office and our second bedroom. Again, I'm going to do a whole separate video on that room, and that will be up very soon, too. Okay, so here is the entryway to our guest bathroom. You guys are probably going to be so sick of mint and light blue and white, but we love it. And we love decorating our place in those colors. It's very calming and I think it's pretty. So the first thing you notice when you walk in is this cute little light blue rug. This is just from Target, but I love the color and it's perfect for this room. So it's kind of hard to show like a general overview of this bathroom. I feel like bathrooms are pretty hard to show in general, but this is kind of what it looks like. It's not very big. The shower curtain is really cool. It's this white and blue like paisley little sunburst things. It's from Target. So are the little hooks too. Here's kind of like a better view of the really pretty pattern. I love this. I got this the day we moved into. Obviously we needed a shower curtain right away. So here's our little hand soap and hand lotion tray. This I got the whole thing from Pier 1 and I really like it. I love the little shell charm too. Then on the other side of the sink I have this gorgeous piece of coral from Kohl's. And then next to that I have this beautiful mirror. I got this a long time ago at just like a specialty little boutique. Um, but it's really pretty. I tried to find it online but you can't, I couldn't find it. But it's really pretty. It was really expensive. It was like $100 but I love it. It's really cool. It's really unique. So I went and stood back over here so you guys can kind of see an overview of the living room. It's very small, but we have it decorated really cute and it's really cozy and homey. We love hanging out in here at nighttime. 
So now I'm standing right at the fireplace and you guys can see, that's what we see out. Here's the couch with all our pillows. Little bar area over there. Just so you guys can get like a little overview before I go in detail. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this corner here. This is our front door and we have our crucifix and we have this chair. So this chair I got from Jocelyn Maine. I absolutely love it. It's really cool and like rustic looking on the wood and then it has this gorgeous paisley print. I love it. But we don't exactly have enough space between the couch and the front door for it. So depending on what's going on, sometimes it's there and sometimes I move it over to this corner if someone's at the front door or whatever. So I've mentioned quite a few pieces already that are from Joss and Maine, but it's just one of my favorite websites for home decor. It's basically a branch of Wayfair. So everything you can buy off Wayfair, you can buy off Joss and Maine. It just comes in like a flash sale type of thing, like Hot Look or whatever. But I will leave the link if you guys want to check it out. It's just like one of my obsessions. I'm on there. I'm on there way too often, but you get cool pieces like this for like, I got this for probably like what? 200 bucks? I don't know. Really cool. Then those chairs, they were not expensive. Like, those chairs everywhere else were like 300 a piece. I think I got them for like 300 for two. Just so you guys can tell like the deals that you get on there. Okay, our coffee table is from World Market. I love everything about it except if you can tell the black like metal detailing. I'm eventually going to paint that white. I hate that. But everything else I love. This was so inexpensive. I want to say it was like $130. Got it on sale. Really love it. The wood matches like the rustic kind of wood we have going on in here too. Oh, also this rug. You guys are never going to believe where we got this rug. Walmart. Michael and I were just walking around there one day and he said, come here, I want to show you something. And he showed me this rug and I was like, okay, this is perfect. It was like 50 bucks. It's huge. It covers the whole room. It's perfect. This tray is from Pier 1. I love the color. It's that whitewashed wood. It has some really pretty detailing. It looks kind of like European to me. I really like it, like French country. <laughs> and then I have everything else on there is pretty much from Pier 1. Um, the little vase with all the filler, all that's from Pier 1. I think that's really pretty. I love the mercury glass at the bottom and all the different shells and beachy stuff in there. Isn't all that stuff so pretty? I think it's really cool. And then I have a candle also from Pure One. It's their Coconut Isles candle. It smells amazing, but I haven't lit it yet just because I love the way it looks. I love how it's big and white and chunky. I kind of just like it for looks. And then over here, this little rope candle is so like nautical and cool. I haven't lit this one either. I like to use candles kind of as decor and also as candles too. You guys will see throughout the house. So this one is from Home Goods. It's a really pretty gray blue color, very nautical. More of those um, coasters. And then this is one of my favorite things, this little pineapple I picked up from Home Goods also. Okay, and then moving over here, I just have some magazines and like some design books and stuff with this really cool crab like paperweight on top. I'm pretty sure I got that from Target, but it's pretty old. I've had it for a while. Okay, so I want to quickly talk about our couch. I also bought this couch off Joss in Maine and it was a very reasonable price. I actually had picked out a couch that I loved from Ethan Allen and I was like literally ready to buy it. It was like an $8,000 couch. <laughs> And Michael was like, okay, let's think about this for a minute. So we went on to Joss and Maine and we found this couch that looked exactly like the Ethan Allen one. And this was less than $2,000, I'm pretty sure. So super amazing deal. It's like, it's like an off-white color. It kind of looks like an oatmeal color. Um, very pretty. And it's like a linen feel, like a canvasy linen feel. It's really comfortable. I was kind of nervous buying a couch online, not knowing how comfortable it was going to be, but... It's very comfortable, especially Michael loves that little chase at the end there. You can like lay down there. It's really relaxing and it's very soft. So here you can really see the true color of the couch. It's very beautiful. And it did come with the two little arm pillows as well on either end, but I'm gonna quickly go over the pillows. 
So first up, we have this cable knit blanket. It looks like a sweater. It's from Ralph Lauren. I got it at Home Goods, and I love that like beigey color, that khaki color. This pillow here, I thought it was kind of different. It doesn't really go with the rest of our decor, but it does bring in more of that French country feel without it getting too coastal and too beachy in here. And it just has a little bit of sparkle on it, which I thought was pretty. So I got that at home. Moving along, this second one is kind of like a suede feel to it. I got this at Pier 1. I love the print of it. That one with the shell on it is actually from Kohl's, and that's in like a darker oatmeal color. And um, the white shell is really pretty on there. And the one behind it, it's like a light blue suede type material, also from Pier 1. This one is more of like a gray blue. I love the tassels on it and I love how plush and like plump it is also from Pier 1. The last one there is from Pottery Barn. Again, it looks like a sweater, which I think is really cool. Um, I'm probably going to get a new, it's like a, it's a pillow from Pottery Barn and then also the case is from Pottery Barn. So now that we're moving into spring and summer, I'm probably going to get a new case for it. One that's more spring and summer feeling, but this one was really cool for winter time and Christmas time and stuff. Okay, and then moving along, we have this little end table here. I love this end table. It's so cool. It's so beachy, but still pretty. This table, the mint lamp, and that little, um, little knick-knack thing is from Kirkland's. So this little thing is really cool. I actually got it for the mantle, but they were too tall for the mantle, so... They ended up working out just perfectly right here. I love how they're whitewashed. Candle holder is from Kohl's, another coaster. And you can see the base of this lamp. It's beautiful. It's like the perfect sea foam mint color. It's such a cool lamp. I love it. Now moving over to the other end of the couch, we have another little end table from Kirkland's. This one's a lot smaller, but it's the perfect size just to fit like a drink or set your phone down. And it has that really pretty mirrored detailing as well. And I had that little knick-knack thing. I don't know what you call that, but I think it's really cool. And then another lamp, this one. Moving on to another Kirkland's find is this gorgeous mirror. So here's kind of what it looks like with everything. It's like the perfect size. It fit in there perfectly. It was really easy to hang. It wasn't that heavy. There's no like storage where our TV is and everything, so we have to keep... In this little thing, it's like our DVDs, our like remotes, batteries, like random extra little things go in there. So this cabinet is from Sam's Club. I got it back a few months ago before Christmas, I think, and I love it. I think it looks very restoration hardware almost, and um, the color is perfect. I just wanted to do kind of like an up close of the mirror. You can see that it's kind of like speckled on the mirror and on like the wood. It's really cool. And then on top of it, I don't have too much. Just this mirror that I purchased at Home Goods, also quite a long time ago, about a year ago. I love how it's just shells shaped into look like a rose. It's beautiful. And then I have this really cool, almost like window looking thing that I got at Kohl's. And I think I actually got it for free, like with Kohl's cash or something. Um, but it looks just like a little like antique window and it has burlap behind it and we put some pictures some of our engagement photos in there I'm gonna put some of our wedding photos in there too but it's really cool I think it's I don't want to hang it I like it like just leaning against the wall and then this little guy this candelabra thing is from Justin Maine I love it when I ordered it I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger um, but when it came it was a really like a medium size but I think it's really cool still it looks great on this table um, it's just like a big piece of coral, and then the candles I got from World Market. Yeah, World Market. Okay, so I went ahead and closed the blinds so you guys can kind of see a little bit better. We just have our TV above our fireplace. Two big windows. So the TV, um, those two little stands, Michael purchased off Amazon, and he hung them and everything. It was just kind of like the only thing we could do with our cords and stuff, so that's just the way it has to look. Um, so that meant that I had to keep the stuff on the mantle quite a bit shorter. So I'm going to go up so you guys can see close. By the way, these are the same curtains as in the kitchen, the gray and white stripe from Ikea, and the same rods up top there too, also from Ikea. 
So here's kind of, you guys can see what, um, it's like a little glass shelf. So there we have our uh, cable box and then our DVD player or PlayStation or some, whatever that is. And um, so yeah, that meant I had to keep everything else pretty low. So the mantle is nowhere near done or how I want it to look, but just for the video, I want to show you guys and I wanted to get this video up this month. So this is the fireplace. It's really pretty white. Um, and then up top there, we have a frame. The frame is from Kirkland's. And then those little seahorses are from Cracker Barrel. It's actually a salt and pepper shaker, but I think it's cute. And then I have this mug. This is a really big one from Kroger. Um, but I'm going to use it as a vase. I'm going to put some flowers in there. This area is not done, like I said, but I am going to get some candle holders for them. And I need your guys' ideas. Like, what do you think I should do to spruce up this area? I think it needs maybe some plants, like some greenery. These candles are adorable. They're from Cracker Barrel. I don't know. Cracker Barrel has some cute stuff. Okay, so that is everything that I'm going to share with you guys today. Like I said, I will be doing a separate tour for our bedroom and a separate tour for my office very soon, but I thought you guys would enjoy seeing this little overview of our living and dining area first. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments or in the comments. And of course, I will try to put as many links to everything that I can in the description box. And if I can't find links, I will at least put, you know, exactly where everything I bought is from. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye.